Well, Robert, many, many congratulations. You've been a pro for 18 years now, but that surely is the biggest win of your career. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, playing and beating somebody like Neil over 19 frames, it's, it's hard enough trying to beat him in a best of seven match, but beating him over 19 is very difficult. And, you know, it's got to go down as my best win. How important, looking back now, were the two frames that you took at the end of yesterday to bring it back to 5-4? Yeah, they were, I mean, they were massive, like, thinking about it. I mean, at the time, I didn't really think about it. I was just trying to... Just, I was just going with the flow, really, and it was going his way, and it was almost looking like going 6-2. But, you know, 5-3 sounds a lot different to 6-2, and then all of a sudden, I make it 5-4. I come out, and I was chuffed a bit yesterday. How did you keep yourself together mentally in the last couple of frames when you started to sense that this big win was there? But but with Neil, you never know until you're actually over the line. Yeah, I, I, I struggled to tell the truth. I, I didn't um, I didn't feel that great the last couple of frames, but I didn't feel that great all the way through that session. Uh, I felt a lot better yesterday, but I think Neil was possibly um, going through the same thing as me. So it turned out to be a bit scrappier than it was yesterday. But in the end, I was just maybe a little bit stronger than he was. Putting this win into context, it's a great turnaround because, you know, you've been through some difficult spells in your life away from the table. And I think there's two people in particular who've, who've really helped you climb the mountain, as it were. Yeah, I mean, well, not just two people. There's been a, there's been a lot of people that's... Uh, Help me. I mean, obviously, I've got a couple of friends that really helped me. That well, friends, they're like family. Um, but I also, you know, I've got to say thanks to Paul, my manager. I mean, he's he's helped me out so much, and uh, you know, there's there's uh, there's other other people as well. It's just not not just them, but like you've you've had a lot of potential for a long time. So it must be quite gratifying that you've now produced a performance that's worthy of the talent you've got. Yeah, I mean. It weren't nothing special, the performance. Let's not, you know, let's not say it was because it weren't. But the win was something special, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't feel like I played outstanding in the match. I just felt like I played all right. Um, but I nicked a couple of frames in the first session, and and I could have, like you said, you know, I could have been six three down. I weren't. I was five four down, and you know, today was just. Going, going with the flow really and just waiting waiting for it to happen and it did in the end um, but no it wasn't a tremendous performance but it was a tremendous win for me you know it was massive and like it was the biggest win in my career you know? looking at the draw it's wide open now in, in your section of the quarters you've now got Ricky Walden and the winner of that match will play the winner of Poom Jang and White both of whom are debutants so there's a massive chance here to reach the semi-finals of the World Championship. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, we, we, we've all got great draws, all four of us, you know. Um, made the best man win, really, who comes through that section because it's, it is open. I mean, most people would probably maybe fancy Ricky as being the strongest player out of the four, and then maybe me. Uh, and, the, you know, but it could turn out that Poomjang gets through. Who knows? We've all got good chances. We're all there, so, you know. Well done today. It was a, a massive win and, and good luck for the match against Ricky. Yeah, thanks a lot. Cheers.